Here is a clinical scenario when an 18 year old medical student with low hemoglobin faints during a long demonstration class. She has a history of multiple visits to family physician for medical checkups and prescription of iron supplements and antibiotics along with anti-helminthic medications for anemia. There is hypochromic microcytic blood picture. And hemoglobin electrophoresis reveals raised hemoglobin A2, uh, which is greater than 3% in this case. So, uh, let's address these tasks one by one. Regarding mistake made by the family physician, number one mistake is that proper workup for anemia was not done and the antibiotics and iron supplements were prescribed irrationally. So, regarding the cause for fainting, since her HP level is around 10, the possible cause of fainting may be diminish, diminished blood supply to brain on account of anemia, compounded by pooling of blood in lower extremities due to prolonged standing during the demonstration class. As the RBCs are hypochromic with poikilocytosis and anisocytosis, the megaloblastic anemia can be ruled out in which the RBCs are enlarged. Raised hemoglobin A2 suggests thalassemia minor or thalassemia trait. As for optimal function, the hemoglobin alpha and beta chains must have a proper structure and may be synthesized uh, and should be synthesized in a 1 is to 1 ratio. A large excess of one sept over the other results in a class of diseases called thalassemia. Hemoglobin single amino acid replacement that give rise to a globin subunit of decreased stability is one mechanism by which thalassemia may arise. Beta thalassemia is a heterogeneous disease in which insufficient beta globin gene synthesis can result from deletions promoter mutations and splice junction mutations. Now, heterozygotes for beta plus allele, which means some globin chain, is, uh, chain synthesis and is taking place, and beta null or beta naught, which means that no globin chain synthesis is occurring, are generally asymptomatic, although they, part, uh, they typically have microcytic hypochromic RBCs and may have mild anemia. Homozygotes with two beta uh, plus alleles may have anemia of variable intensity, whereas heterozygotes with beta plus and beta null alleles may be more severely affected, whereas beta Null homozygotes with two beta null alleles may have severe disease or thalassemia major, requiring blood transfusions. The composition of hemoglobin also changes with development. The major adult hemoglobin species is alpha 2, beta 2. The time of hemoglobin switching is controlled by developmental clock. Delta gene codes for hemoglobin chain found in minor adult hemoglobin or hemoglobin A2. The individuals with beta thalassemia minor make some beta chains and usually do not require specific treatment. Increase in hemoglobin A2 with alpha 2, delta 2 chains occurs. Since Miss XYZ has increased HbA2 and her anemia is not severe, she is likely to have thalassemia minor or thalassemia trait. So, these are the different types of alleles which may be present. This graph shows the phenomena of hemoglobin switching during development. As shown here, the hemoglobin F with two alpha and two gamma chains is replaced by hemoglobin A comprising of two alpha and two beta chains. 
Likewise, hemoglobin A2, which consists of two alpha and two delta chains, is replaced by hemoglobin A. In case of thalassemia traits, the amount of hemoglobin A2 is raised, whereas in uh, thalassemia major, hemoglobin F is raised. So, Ms. XYZ appears to be a case of thalassemia trait since hemoglobin A2 is raised in her. Now, which difficulties can she suffer in future? If she marries a man with thalassemia trait, 25% of her kids stand a chance of developing thalassemia major, 25% uh, have uh, probability of being normal and 50% may be carriers of the trait, as shown here. She, regarding the supplements, uh, she should avoid iron as the defect lies in beta-globin chain synthesis and increased iron cannot repair this defect uh, which which is due to a mutation so iron is not the solution uh, uh, regarding the supplements she may be advised folic acid 